Please don't tell me I have to navigate this. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. You and your companions watch the sea as your wagon rolls over the gentle rape waves. We have crossed into Rim Gulf. I hope that all of you are acclimating well. The temptation, tempest sea of solace lies beyond this death still body of water. Okay. <clears throat> There's no acclimating to the ri worm? Rim? These rim infested waters. We risk everything to sail here. Excel the rims of the sea dominion tend to seek out the cold of the downside seas. Known for being reckless and single minded, they were perfectly suited to fill the commonwealth's front lines. As long as you follow the cold current, Big Bird you indicated, we shall be safe. If the next right is in the middle of the sea, how will our adversaries meet us there? They shall find their way, as we fi find ours. It is all part of the scribe's design. Now, reader, please confirm the next point in our, e in our sea journey. We seek the Hulk of Old. Crimson stars, blah blah blah. Hop. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. I like how the wagon kind of has its own personality when it's moving around, too. I think that's really cool. The wagon continues rolling gently over the waves, which seems to you a welcome change of pace after having come from flagging hands not very long ago. However, Jody seems more concerned now than, than before and paces ceaselessly. When she knows Ruki, she stops him for some questioning. Greentail. How is he doing? Who? Hedwin? Oh, he's pretty much the same. Been up all night, retching into the waters if I had to guess. His first time out in at sea? His first. She turns to you. Reader, please check on Hedwin when you have the opportunity. He requires our support, and we require his swift recovery. You wish them a good afternoon as you go check up on the others in the group. Later, you find Hedwin looking out of sorts. Oh, hello my friend, it's just the sea hasn't been good for me, I guess. It's funny, all this trouble just to get back to the commonwealth of all places. Proud country, risen from ashes of a fallen empire, home to a multitude of ethnic groups, founded on principles of mercy and kinship, whose exact meanings evolved through many centuries. Hey, tell me something. What do you miss the most about that place? Ah, oh, okay. We'll find this out stuff. Okay. Sure, it was highly illegal, but just the same. You miss having had some access to those volumes, the few friends you had. Your life is always, was almost always difficult, but several of your longtime confidants did help you get by, perhaps the food. Your mouth waters at the thought of it, at least compared to what passes for a substance here. I think friends. Friends are mom. You tell me that there were those who did support you over the years, and that it pains you now to be apart from them. Yeah, I hear you, my friend. There's someone I terribly miss back there myself, I'm sure. That when you make it out of here, your loved ones will be waiting. Anyways, I... I'll be fine, I think. Thank you for checking up on me. You sense he wishes to be alone? There's not much to be done for him now. Yay. I'm sorry for my interruption, reader. Please, again, confirm the next point on our voyage. Hippity happity. Well, no wonder Hedwin's so nauseous. We're hopping all over the place. Ooh. <gasps> Bye.
By the scribes, the sea, I didn't know it was so beautiful. Having escaped the waters of Rim Gulf, you can now see that the that what must be the Hulk of Wars, far on the horizon. <laughs> you know what these look like? <laughs> ah, it's like that Dr. Seuss story. Ah, I totally forgot what it was, but it's like the fluffy trees they made those like sweater things out of. Oh my gosh. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. Not everyone has taken well to the sea voyage, however. Oh no. Uh, Tizo was wondering if Hedwin is feeling better. He requires further rest, Tizo. All we can do is to wish him a swift recovery. Reader, madame, from this point our voyage m must diverge from Bertrude's instructions. Please consult your companions about which course to take. We just passed that, but okay. Under King Pass, the north current towards the Hulk, Hulk, Hulk of Oars runs as quick as Under King Oars himself. Faye believes that the eight scribes shall bless you here. The south current towards seems once a fish or something tastes. <laughs> oh, Tizo, of course we can. Of course. Oh, I wonder Edwin is just dying. <laughs> the boat keeps on jumping. The sea is peaceful for the most part, save for occasional strange shimmers beneath the surface. You realize the mistrels looking down at them along with you. Those shapes down there must be some rims of the sea dominion cast in exile. A vast and war-torn undersea regime, home to untold numbers of amphibious rims. Having conquered, er, conquered their waters, the rims clambered into the Commonwealth's shores in search of new wars. I understand they, ti they tirelessly fought the Commonwealth's wars, having grown weary of their own. They must make worthy adversaries. Oh my god. Tizo appears to have spotted something tasty. Tizo dives without warning into the depths below. No. And there he goes again. That one enjoys being at sea, despite its, despite its perils. Eventually, the little imp resurfaces, clutching something in his claws. His claws are so tiny. How can he grab anything? Black Eye Puffer. What is that? Can't be sold in... A limpless or cold blood creature caught at sea. Oh, anything for you, Tizo. Is that an arm? Okay. At last, you arrive at the Hulk of Oars. After journeying across the sea, it seems the next rite is to commence here soon. Though there is no sign of your next adversaries yet. Down the river. Let's read that. Oh, what's this? Eh. Eh, it's a table. What's that? What's this? Oh, poor guy. Where is he? And uh, they organized everything. Drive in. Okay, let's read this. Down the river. The Emperor Salamur knew not of this, of course. His expedition yielded not the treasure he desired, but brought him closer to his country than he ever been before. As he traveled down the river Sol Solcrin in pursuit of greed, he found instead an inkling of shame. He saw the sunken faces of his people, heard their words for them, for him. In time, he could not ignore it, and it 
proved more than he could bear. The river finally claimed him, his belongings, and his retinue. Once the people heard, I understand they cried with joy. He, um, perhaps he ought to have perished, but the mercy shown to him, I think, is what transformed him. All right. Let's chat with Jody. Reader, a moment of your time. You ask her what is on her mind. Tom Hedwin. He's beginning to cover, recover from his illness, however. Its sudden onset serves as a reminder, I believe. I've known Hedwin since he was a child. Even now, I hesitate to say that he has grown. Nevertheless, there are such things that even I would not say to him directly. For instance, I struggle with his confidence at times. However, he leads us to our freedom or our doom. I am a... a Ablivalent. Ablivalent. Yes, that's a word. Speak not a word of this to him, of course. In case that is unclear, I shall tell him in my own way if and when the time requires. In any case, when times reminds me of this, his mortal of his mortal weakness, I end up having to consider what should happen should we have become separated permanently. She tra trails off a while. What I mean to say is... You should know that I am fully pledged now to this quest of ours. Whether Hedwin is the one to lead us to its ends or not. I have my reasons. One of them is him. I expect the same holds true for you. That is all I wish to say. Take care, reader. She nods and brushes past you towards the door. Okay, while we're here, I want to interact with Andrew. You bring me brief or pre from solitude. What do you seek in exchange? Ah. Okay. Ask her what is on her mind. Sassy Andrew. There's a undulation i've sensed reader which means i think that your black wagon sails the seeds am i not right of course i am <laughs> she laughs at this or at herself perhaps i scarce remember the sea has been a while since i bathed on it you understand my memories of it are wistful nonetheless though i if i remember correctly the sea of Solace is a disgusting mockery of the emerald seas near to the empire. The Emperor of Sahir dominated. Empire of Sahar? I, I suck at these names. Dominated the known world for millennia until the doom reign of Solomur. So be careful out there, will you? Now, let me cease my prating, lest I extend my sentence. By another such eternity or two. We had best stick to business. Bye, Sandra. Until your next appointment. I want to draw her. Once I get more into digital art, I shall. <gasps> oh, hey, you guys. Running, run running into you out here, right in the middle of the drink. Know what I mean? Not a lot of customers today, so have a look. I'll give you a good deal. What is this? Oh yeah. All right, what can we get? Um. What is that? Okay. Faith stone. Lunar glass. Ooh. Oh, I should might as well get this too. And ooh, oh, last two hundred.
kingdom. Ha! I know you're going to like that stuff, guys. It's pretty... Ooh, you know what I mean? Uh, that was a weird way of saying it, but I'm gonna stick with it. And if you want some more now, I know just the individual and his dad who can get it. Catch my meaning, yeah? Just stop on by for some other time. By some other time. I'm just gonna... Get, oh. Oh. Okay. Cool. Bye. <clears throat> I appreciate you doing business with, with you guys. Be sure to tell your friends, okay? I friends. These people are my only friends. Okay, before we go into the rights, I want to get these talismans going. Um... To ten, okay. By thirty three per cent. She doesn't have one. Let's get this. And then Let's get some money. Okay. Cool. All right, now let's go into the right. <sighs> Having landed at the Hulk of Oars, you and your fellow exiles now anticipate the hour that the rites are to commence again. What do you think, Tizo? Do I look just like Mr. Hedwin? Tizo's uh -huh. worried that Hedwin is still feeling unwell. Wait, I think. What's that? What the? Okay. A serpentine creature emerges from the water. It is followed by several others of its kind. You recognize it's a rim of the Sea Dominion. What they all are doing here you can see plain by their ritual raiments. The nearest one somehow loosens its mask. Oh, what? That's his face? Ah, oh, he reminds me of something I don't know what. Okay. Good sirs and good ladies. So it is you that he the summons to glorious competition against this knight and his very Barrage. Ba -ba -ba. Barry K. Blah. Well, then, let us do battle now without delay. More than our freedom is at stake here, but our very honor. And this knight fully intends to reclaim his. Oh, and lest this knight forget, he is called Sir Gilman. He salutes you all in behalf of the Pyre Hearts. Until the contest. He is a once proud knight of the Sea Dominion on a self made quest to regain his honor. A triumphant of Worm Rim Knights who perceive the rights as great battles to be won. Alright. He splashes out of view just as the stars above begin to shimmer with strange light. I mean, cool dude, I guess. <laughs> 